Peekaboo. No. <laughs> <laughs> who would start off a Bible Bible study? Who would start off a devotional reading with Peekaboo? <laughs> uh, it's got to be me. <laughs> it's daily life. Check it out. God is speaking. Uh, are we listening? Peekaboo, God sees you. <laughs> okay, so maybe, you know, we need to lay off the joy a little bit and get more into the love. Uh, something. So, you were dead and your life is hid with Christ in God. How shall we that are dead to sin live any longer therein? I am crucified with Christ, nevertheless I live. Yet not I, but Christ liveth in me. And the life which I now live in the flesh, I live by the faith of the Son of God, who loved me and gave himself for me. He died for all, that they which should live no longer for themselves, but unto him which died for them. And he rose again. If any man be in Christ, he is a new creature. Old things are passed away, behold, all things have become new. We are in him that is true, even in his Son, Jesus Christ. As thou, Father, art in me, and I in thee, that they also may be one in us. You are the body of Christ, and members in particular. Because I live, you shall live also. To him that overcometh will I give to eat of the hidden manna, and will give him a white stone, and in the stone a new name written, which no man knoweth, saving him that receiveth. You know, Daily Light was written as a conglomeration of scripture only by Samuel Baxter and his family that um, way back when they would share scriptures on a topic and just say them back and forth and it was kind of neat that they recorded them and put them all together in a book that they flow together in a theme and a thought but it's only the word of God and for the evening reading I combined both of them <laughs> it's kind of neat behold how he loved he died for all greater love hath no man than this that a man lay down his life for his friends he liveth to make intercession for them. I go to prepare a place for you. I will come again and receive you unto myself, that where I am, there you may be also. Father, I will that they also, whom thou hast given me, be with me where I am. Having loved his own, which were in the world, he loved them unto the end. We love him because he first loved us. The love of Christ constraineth us, because we thus judge that if one died for all, then we're all dead, and that he died for all, that they which live should not henceforth live unto themselves, but unto him which died for them and rose again. If you keep my commandments, you shall abide in my love, even as I have kept my Father's commandments and abide in his love. You know, it's interesting. Jesus' love is compared to what? And he says, and abide in the Father's love, which is compared to what? Those are thoughts that are good for a Bible study. <laughs> because the love that the Father has, for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish but have everlasting life. And yet, what is the love of Jesus? Because it says the Father's love. And then it said Jesus' love. An interesting dichotomy. I think if you sit down and you pray and you ask God, what is the difference? God may show you. Maybe you'll come up with a new revelation, a new Greek word besides agape. I think you will find there's a reason why there's a difference. And I think you'll discover that though there is a difference, God loves you intimately and personally. And that the love that the Father had for us to have salvation is different than the love that Jesus could give us that makes us brethren with him, whereby we could inherit with him as a son. Wow. To be one with God? What kind of love is that? The kind that will change your life. Do you love God today? Cool. Do you love Jesus? When you find out the difference between the two, you'll know why you love Jesus so much. <laughs>